Welcome back to my channel. All Pro Wrestling is extremely saddened to learn of the passing of former APW Universal Heavyweight Champion, Shooter Tony Jones. We at APW salute Tony Jones for all of his accolades not just in the ring but beyond the mat welcome back to my channel. A loving friend, brother, son and father, APW Road. Anthony Jones born on April 6, 1971. He passed away on Thursday, April 11, 2024 was an American professional wrestler who competed in North American independent promotions, specifically California-based All Pro Wrestling, Ultimate Pro Wrestling, and Extreme Pro Wrestling. Jones also had stints in World Wrestling Entertainment in 1998, 2001, 2003, and 2007 although he is best known for his appearance with sometimes tag team partner Mike Modest and Barry W. Blaustein's 1999 documentary Beyond the Mad. Born in San Francisco, Jones graduated from Archbishop Reardon High School in 1989 and later attended San Francisco State University earning a Bachelor Arts degree in Broadcasting and Electronic Communication Arts and a minor in Speech Communication Arts. He also achieved a successful five-year amateur wrestling career during his time at SFSU winning the Bay Area Freestyle Championship eight times, the Bay Area Greco-Roman Championship seven times and becoming a nationally ranked contender in NCAA Collegiate Wrestling and eventually became the NCAA Division II California Collegiate Champion in 1994. During this time, he defeated NCAA Champion Stephen Neal and was in several tournaments with Kurt Angle. Jones also served as an assistant coach for the SFSU Greco-Roman Freestyle Wrestling Team before his graduation in 1995. During 1996, Jones began training under Mike Modest at the APW Professional Wrestling Training Boot Camp along with Donovan Morgan and Vic Grimes graduating from the training camp making his professional debut wrestling against Manny the Raging Bull Fernandez at APW Gym Wars on January 15, 1997. Feuding with Vic Grimes in his early months with the promotion, he lost to Grimes at APW Gym Wars on April 19 and on June 20, the latter defeat eliminating him from the opening round of a tournament for the APW Universal Championship. Returning Battle Arts in May and June 2000, he began wrestling for Ultimate Pro Wrestling in May and had a brief stint in Extreme Pro Wrestling in a series of high-profile matches against Tracy Smothers at XPW D-Day. After losing to Pogo the Clown on May 28, he was invited by Battle Arts for another tour however he declined being under contract with the Urban Wrestling Alliance and remained with the promotion until its close in December 2000. Returning to All Pro Wrestling for a brief time, he teamed with Giant Kali in his wrestling debut against the Westside Players 2000 on October 7, 2000 and later with his old rival Robert Thompson as the original Westside Players defeating the Ballard Brothers for the titles on April 14, 2001. Losing the titles to Boyce Legrand and Mark Smith on June 9, they later regained the titles defeating the Ballard Brothers and Samoa Joe and KG Sakota on September 29. The titles were forfeited however when Jones attacked Thompson after the match and left the promotion in November. Appearing on WWF Jacked against Raven in May 2001, he wrestled in the Chicago-based Midwest Championship Wrestling from August to September 2001. During the next year, he continued wrestling for Ultimate Pro Wrestling as well as feuding with former XPW stars Pogo the Clown, Steve Rizzono, and Manny Fernandez. He also began competing for Pro Wrestling Iron, affiliated with the Japanese promotion Pro Wrestling NOAA, teaming with Jason Brisbane to defeat Lars Dogger and Ryan Drago at a Pro Wrestling Iron event on June 11, 2004. In March 2007, he appeared on WWE Television, wrestling Eugene on WWE Heat. Tony returned to WWE television four months later against Gene Snitsky. He lost both matches please subscribe, comment, like, share and follow for more content. I'm asking you to support my channel please send it to cash app colon dollar director 327 thank you for your gift it is greatly appreciated. Thank you for watching.